What's up guys? So today we're gonna be experimenting with this coffee grinder right here. Uh, this coffee grinder right here was a hookup by my brother because he works at a restaurant and they were selling it on the cheap side so I ended up purchasing it. But it does have quite a bit of settings as you can see. And I've always wondered how does Turkish coffee look like? So we're gonna start from point A then work our way all around the wheel. Every time we grind coffee we're gonna bag them up in these baggies so we can have a point of reference. That way in the future when we're looking for a level that we need to grind a coffee we can just reference back to these bags and we know what setting to choose. I have coffee right here. This coffee was roasted quite a bit ago so uh, we're gonna go ahead and use this and we're gonna use uh, half a cup of coffee per bag in order to keep everything consistent. It's gonna be interesting to see the levels of grinding that this machine will do and the difference between coarse and Turkish by the time we get to that point. So let's go ahead and get started. And we're gonna start off with level one. All right, level one, let's go. You can definitely see big chunks in there. Yeah, it still grinds really well though, but you can see um, big nuggets of coffee in there. So that's that's why they call it the coarse setting though. So we'll go ahead and package that bad boy up right here. So there you have it. One bag of coarse grounded coffee. So let's level up right here. Level two. What in there? All right, this one you can still see it has a couple of big pieces of coffee in there, but a lot less in the coarse level. So it's getting finer right there. I mean, I would even use this for drip coffee in my opinion. You have it, a regular grounded bag of coffee. Level three, the electric percolator. Our golden coffee here. Throw it in the bag. Oh, this setting looks very nice and consistent. You don't see any big chunks left. Everything is all smooth. And you actually get more aroma of the coffee at this point here. I think by far my favorite setting. There you have it. Electric percolator setting. So far this looks like the best one, more consistent. Um, and it smells better I think because it's finely grinded. So you probably get more aroma. Uh, throw that one in there with the three. Let's move on. Level four. Drip coffee. Drip. Oh man. I think the further along the better it gets. That smells delicious. All right, drip is done. I definitely like this setting, very consistent. Uh, you can still feel some coarseness to it and it's not all powder. So I think this would be very good for the drip machine. That's why it's called drip. All right, throw it in there. Now you can see that we're getting in a room of where you no longer see any coarse pieces. It's mainly fine grinds. Definitely the aroma has become more pronounced throughout the levels that we're advancing, but I think it's because that it's grinding the coffee even further, so it's releasing more of that smell. But here you can see how fine that is, right? All right, there you have it, auto drip. Oh shit, the bag open. Fine. Right in there. Whoa, uh, smells intense. Yeah, that is really fine. I'm trying to think what the consistency looks like, but it's hard to compare. Almost looks like sand. No, actually, it's even finer than sand. It depends what kind of beach you go to, never mind. But it looks very, very fine right here. It smells delicious. I said that like nine times already because the smell keeps getting get better and better. All right, there you have it a bag of finely grounded coffee. We're at level one, two, three, four, five, six. Espresso time. Ready to get the jitters? Whee! And that looks really nice, actually. Very consistent. That grinder has really nice quality. I mean, look how fine that looks. That looks ready to be compacted into an espresso brew right there. Damn, I wish I had an espresso machine. There you have it, guys. A bag of espresso grounded beans. The Turkish. Here we go. Right, there you have the Turkish coffee. Definitely felt it took like a lot longer to grind. You can see how fine it looks like, almost powder or snow. It smells delicious. Let's go ahead and bag it up. All right guys, there you have it. So we went from 
all the levels, right, started from the bottom. And now we're here. Sorry, I had to do that. I like that song. You can see right here, all the bags, we have our course. There's still a couple big pieces left throughout the grind. You, when you feel it, it almost feels like sand. Then we went to regular, went to electric perk. Uh, you notice that once you got to the drip level right here, that everything started getting more fine. And we went to uh, fine. Fine, now you're starting to get into more like powder, sugar almost like. To Turkish. Look at Turkish right here, watch. If you squeeze it, you can leave an imprint on it. It's that fine, you see? And then we had the espresso. So, the espresso is almost at the same level of Turkish. Overall, I think this is a good machine. You can see consistently that it, it grinded the coffee pretty well in each setting. Um, I mostly do uh, pour overs. So, if anything, I would probably do like an auto drip setting or a drip setting for my grinds this way i don't clog my filters with the turkish because it's too fine or don't extract enough flavor with my coarse levels because it's too coarse so that's good to know good to know i can do espressos in the future just in the blue moon if someone tells me hey i only like turkish coffee i'll be like all right got you on that grinds right there yeah that's pretty much it i would recommend buying one of these if you're in the process of looking for a grinder thanks for watching and if you like the video you like coffee you like trucks fishing anything outdoors and coffee that I, I think I mentioned coffee yeah anyways if you like what you see just subscribe to the channel or hit a like uh, just posting stuff that I'd like to do myself um, I really like YouTube I think it's a great platform for people to get their stuff out there and you get to watch a bunch of cool interesting stuff so cheers hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and you get a better idea on the levels you can grind your coffee in thanks till next one